Now, tensions are still running high at Wits University. On Friday, a news van was torched by protesters in Bramfontein. Wits University spokesperson Sharona Patel is on the line to give us the latest. Sharona, a very good morning to you. And what is the situation as far as you know on campus this morning? Good morning, Rebecca. So um, following Friday night's uh, incidents in Bramfontein, uh, we have had both on Saturday night and last night um, cases where uh, protesting students did not want to stay in their residences. Um, they came out, they threw rocks at buildings, they smashed windows, and they've tried to put rocks across road to barricade it. We've had the security and the police on standby. Um, they've been, uh, they, they, were called, they were on campus last night and they've managed to remove all the rubble, all the rocks, and we are in the process of cleaning up the broken glass. Um, so that has happened overnight, uh, that's uh, Saturday night and Sunday. However, despite all of this, the university will reopen today again and will continue with the academic program as planned. Uh, we need to get through at least the next two weeks of the academic program before exams and we're confident that, that we can do so. All right, so you say classes will be uh, continuing as normal, as you've been saying for, for over a week now, uh, but the security situation has been, has, uh, will, will remain the same on campus, Sharona? Yes, so last week we started off, I think, on Monday with, a very, uh, with the academic program going ahead, about 50% of the program, but attendance was quite low. Attendance picked up to about 70 to 80% by the end of the week, and I think that's significant as people started to get, uh, gain confidence and come back to class. We're hoping that uh, we see um, many more students in classes this week. Um, like I said, it's our only hope to save this 2016 academic year, but we can do it. Uh, we're asking people, also those who were involved in the protest, to um, form new study groups, tutorial groups in faculties, etc., so that um, we've still got two weeks, there's still time to pass this year. Mm. We're also just seeing uh, tweets on social media, uh, Sh Sharona, that the police are patrolling the campus with dogs this morning. Um, they have put in the dog unit at some time. I haven't seen any this morning. Um, I do know that they had the public order police services on campus overnight. The, um, last week we had many forms of intimidation from, uh, it's a, really a small group of protesting students, so I think the numbers have dwindled somewhat, uh, but lots more intimidation. So we've had intimidation through voice notes, through social media. There's a lot of information, misinformation on social media. We've had um, people who claim to have been shot, uh, shot at, etc. But no one's laying any formal complaints. So we're asking anyone, if you do experience any such inter, um, intimidation by anybody, mm. or even if there's excessive police force or security, if they could please lay a formal complaint so that we can investigate it. Um, I think from the university side, we are just doing whatever we can to keep people, lives, and our property as safe as possible and um, in order to finish this academic year. Uh, Sharona, just going to the arrests uh, at the weekend, we saw the arrest of um, uh, Mkhebod Lamini. Uh, we were still uh, looking for uh, sort of any information as to why he was arrested, what the charges are. Do you have any idea what that arrest was all about? Unfortunately not, Yuveka. We know that he was arrested in the early hours of um, Sunday morning. Uh, we were only aware that he was arrested when uh, the uh, warden contacted um, Vitz management about it. So it's an independent police process, um, which Vitz was not party to. At this stage, we still don't know what he has been arrested for. Um, we know that he will appear in court this morning, uh, but that's as much as we know. We know that the police has uh, they've issued a statement yesterday, but you'd have to get further details mm. from them. All right, and Vitz student leader is accusing the university of having a, a so-called hit list of, uh, of uh, protest leaders so that, that, that you want arrested? Your response to that, Sharona? That's absolutely untrue. You know, I got that same question on Friday from one of the newspapers. That's absolutely untrue. We, haven't, we don't have a hit list. We haven't given any hit list to the police. And I think that uh, he should provide evidence of this if this is what he's saying. We don't have a hit list. We haven't given anything to police. Um, the arrest on, in the early hours of Sunday morning was made by the police, and I think we should ask them, you know, um, what the reasons are for. For that, I think from our side, we were only told about it when it happened. Okay, so despite what's happened at the weekend, despite even protests last night with damage caused, you will urge students to come to class today. Absolutely, we have to get through the next two weeks, and um, the most uh, we also think that our students are a little more resilient. Some people, for example, try to disrupt some classes on Friday, and students, I mean, they get up for two minutes step out the class and go right back into it or move to a different lecture venue. And I think we have to just keep at it for the next two weeks, take back our university and complete that 2016 academic year. All right. Thanks very much for that update. Wits University spokesperson Sharona Patel on the line with us this morning.